A significant proportion of Nigeria's prosperity today is concentrated in the hands of a few people living primarily in four or five states and the FCT. Some of the most prosperous Nigerians are here in this room. <laughs> this leaves the remaining 31 states with close to 150 million people in a state of expectancy and hope for better opportunities to strive. This, in the most basic form, drives the migratory and security trends we are seeing today, both in Nigeria and across the region. In the recent weeks, I have been to Niger Republic to attend the ECO Summit. I have been to Japan with fellow African leaders to attend the Tokyo International Conference on African Development. I have been to the United Nations General Assembly in New York and to South Africa on a state visit to exchange ideas on the common themes we share as two largest economies in Africa. What was very clear at these meetings and numerous others I have been privileged to attend over the years is the increased consensus by leaders that to address population growth, security and corruption matters in developing economies, our policies and programs must focus on promoting inclusivity and collective prosperity.